post the great financial crisis of 08, 09, we, we've gone through a 14-year period of time where you could argue that, you know, that credit was actually, you know, a commodity. And a big part of that is because of what the central banks were doing in terms of flooding the markets with liquidity. It's pretty clear right now, I think, at least to us, that the central banks are saying the following is we're, we want to have tighter monetary conditions, and we're going to do that by raising rates and, and paring back our balance sheets. And as a result, credit will become constrained. That's actually a good thing for us from an investment perspective because it no longer is a commodity. It becomes a more precious item for us to invest through a cycle. And since we have drawdown funds that are meant to invest over a three- to five-year period of time, that's a positive for us. So I think from a credit perspective, things will get constrained. But I think from an investment perspective for credit investors, it's going to be a positive. Are you also expecting um, delinquencies to, to uh to shoot up, like that we have higher non-performing loan levels going into that crisis? Yeah, I mean, certainly we, again, have lived, I've been in the business for about 32 years now. The past 14 years is not indicative of what I would normally think of a regular credit cycle. Um, Long-term default rates in high yield as a proxy have been about 4%. Today, they are projected to be around 3%, so we're not even reaching sort of the long-term averages. It's, there's no doubt in my mind that as the economy continues to slow down and contract, that we're going to have a fallout and an increase in default rates in loans and bonds. And that'll, again, be an opportunity for our platform in terms of our ability to invest in those, those situations.